everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and I've finally done it. I've got everything that I needed to get together to show you a updated winter version of what's in my bag. So what I thought I would do is each season just change out my bag. So I've actually decided to have a different colour themed bag for each season. So I decided on purple for winter, uh, pink for spring, like a minty aqua blue for summer and then a grey for autumn. And I based those colours on the planners that I already have. So for each of those planners, I thought, well, I'm going to coordinate my bag and all the stuff I have in it and the things that I take to work every day to match my planner and then just swap it out each season. So I've basically got four bags that I use throughout the year, four planners, four of everything and all colour coordinated it. So most of this stuff is all brand new. I'll only just be getting it out of the packets now as I show you. Okay, so the bag itself is just this one here. It's a very simple, casual little bag. It's only a vinyl one. I picked it up off AliExpress. I think it was only about $20 or something like that. And it's purple, it's big. I like my bags to be quite big because I like to be able to fit a lot in them. And I like to have them as a shoulder strap so that I can actually put them on my shoulder. So I may get a little bit of uh, a better one later on. But I just really like the casual, simple look of this one. It's got quite a few pockets. So we've got quite a few pockets at the front here that open up. So that's handy for keys and uh, phones and um, like work, you know, if you have a work tag that you need to access the building. It's also got pockets behind those front pockets as well on both sides. It has a big pocket here. Well, it's actually pretty, it's a shallow pocket. Like it doesn't go all the way down. Uh, probably about maybe to here. So um, if you're storing like uh, headphones, pens, that sort of thing. And then on the inside, it has, it's a massive, massive bag. So it can fit a lot in there. And I don't know if you can see, but it's got a phone holder on that side, a uh, larger pocket on that side, and then it's got a zippered pouch on the inside as well. Uh, it also does come with a large shoulder strap as well. So there's that. But um, yeah, I think this is just going to suit me fine at the moment. So that's the bag I'm using for winter so far because it's winter here in Australia. I'm basing it off the planners that I already have. So this is my um, A5 Purple Molden and that's my current planner that I'm using at the moment. I haven't decorated it as yet because I've just basically been spending most of my time setting it up exactly how I want it and just making sure it all fits and that that's how I actually want to be using my planner. So yeah, it's quite chunky and that's pretty much what everything's based around. Then I have my phone cover here and my phone is actually what I'm filming on, so it's not actually in here at the moment. But this was another little phone case that I picked up off AliExpress. I think this was maybe about $9, something like that. It's quite cheap. It's purple. It's got a little holder, um, little strap here. Um, I really love the embossed design on it. This fits the iPhone XS Max. It's got a mirror there and it also has pockets here to put all your cards and things like that, which is what will actually go in this one. I haven't put all my details in here now, clearly just for privacy, but this is where I will put all my like driver's license, Medicare card, key cards and that sort of thing. So it's nice and handy and quite compact. So that's my phone case. I have also picked up this little pouch. Now let me just open it. This again is from AliExpress and it's the same style and I'm pretty sure the same sort of make as the bag. It's the same material 
And this is just a small little three zippered pouch. And this is what I was going to use just to store. I was going to have one section that I'm going to store my pens and like a couple of pens that I'm going to be using. And I'll show you it all set up in a minute. Uh, one section was going to have my coins, just loose coins. And then the other section, I was just going to store a few little makeup items and different little things that I want to keep in my bag. And this also came with a little strap. So this is in a very dark purple color. Uh, I don't know if it's coming off on camera. So the next thing I have in my bag is just a, a reusable shopping bag that's all sort of nice and compact because uh, here in Australia, mm, pretty much nearly all shops now have done away with the free plastic bags that they hand out. So you have to always bring your own shopping bags. And even though I do keep a stash in the boot of the car, I always forget to take them in the shop with me. So I'm just gonna be keeping this little bag attached inside my bag as just an emergency if I need. A, I mean, this, this opens up fairly big, so it's quite a big shopping bag. So I've at least got one on me if I need it. So that's that. The next thing I picked up were some new headphones. These also were from AliExpress and they were literally, I think, $1.40. So <laughs> you can't really go wrong with AliExpress and I've, I've purchased other ones from AliExpress before and they work perfectly fine. And I like that, that sort of style that actually sits in your ear. And again, purple, so it matches. <laughs> I also picked up this little purple glasses case from AliExpress as well. I think this was maybe about $5.00 was either $5 or $9, I can't remember. And that came with a little eyeglasses tool, screwdriver, and a microfibrous cloth as well. So that's my glasses case. The other thing that I bought from AliExpress is just one of these little pouches. Now these are technically for sanitary pads. So it's this is actually more of a blue rather than the purple. And I actually purchased this for one, to put a sanitary pad in there, but also just to store my headphones in this section, just so that it, they're not getting tangled within my bag. So I just thought that's a nice little pouch just to store all that sort of stuff. Also, what I picked up for work was this little, this is actually like a little cosmetic case, but I'm just gonna be using it just to take my lunch to work in. And these are quite roomy, these actually. I've picked up a few of these on different occasions. The kids use these similar ones for these for their pencil case as well. So it's basically a little box like that. It zippers up. And like I said, you can use it as a cosmetics bag because here you can put like your different brushes and things. My kids use theirs as a pencil case because it fits quite a lot in it. And I'm not a big lunch eater at work, so maybe the few times that I just bring, I normally just bring maybe a couple of slices of cheese, my coffee bags, like little little snacky things. This is more than big enough just to take a few things to work in. So that is my little purple style lunch box, which is quite cute. That's that. I also picked up this mug from Spotlight. It's in the purple theme. I like this mug actually because it's quite a big mug, but it also comes with a like a lid that will let the steam out, but also still keep your coffee or tea warm because you've got the lid on. And I just thought that was really nice. I think these were originally $12, but it was marked down to $2.50. I'm pretty sure it came up at the till. So that was from Spotlight and that's in the purple theme. And then the last thing I've picked up, this was just from Big W, I'm pretty sure, is just a purple water bottle. This is from the Michelle Bridges collection. She was one of the coaches on The Biggest Loser here in Australia. So she's got a whole range of active wear and active stuff. 
and this is one of her water bottles here so this one's quite good it's quite big but you can also put in here um, I'm pretty sure this is where you can put like fruit lemon slices mint leaves and that sort of thing so you can have an infused uh, water as well so that will also be going on my desk at work so I'll pretty much have these two plus my planner and my phone and my pretty much my glasses case as well all sitting out on my desk at work and it'll be all nice and coordinated so I'm going to put everything in and pack it all up so you can see what it looks like all right guys so here is the setup now so I've put everything where it belongs so I always wear my bag on my left shoulder so this pocket is where I would need easy access to everything so in the first pocket here I'm just storing my work pass I'm just covering it up for privacy um, as well as my car keys and house keys will go in there also then in this one I'm keeping the little sanitary pad case as well as my headphones and um, little adapter in there because I use those pretty much every day at work in this pocket here I just have some blotting tissue paper so just for when your face gets shiny just blot the shine off it um, and then in this pocket here I keep my I've just got a little hand sanitizer some bacterial wipes and the shopping bag so that's easy to access then in this pocket I'm just putting my phone because like I said it's only a shallow pocket so the phone's not going to get lost in there. So I have all my cards and information in there and then my phone which I'm filming on currently will also go in there. So that's all the pockets on the outside. When I pack my bag I try and stand everything upright so that it's easy to access. Now, most of this stuff won't be in my bag on a daily basis. The cup and the water bottle will be staying at work, like at my desk. I pretty much just leave it there. Um, but just to show you, I mean, when I go back to work on Monday, this is how my bag's going to look. My water bottle and my mug, they will both stay on my desk at work. And then all that's left inside my bag basically will be my little lunchbox. This is now my little pouch. In the front pocket here, I just keep random coins. So any coins. In the middle pouch is like my little travel medicine kit as well as a few little makeup and uh, supplies. So I always need to have headache tablets on hand. I've just got some drops for my eyes, even though my eyes healed now, but I just still like to keep drops in case it dries out. A little hand lotion. That's my headache tablets. And then I've just got just very basic makeup. I've just got a lipstick, a lip gloss, a mascara and an eyeliner and lip pencil. They're the only makeup items I have in my bag. I've just got a Nivea lip butter, some of these little dental toothpick things. And then I have a Polyvis, which is just um, some ointment for lubricating your eye. And then a set of tweezers for removing those stray whiskers that can pop up on your chin at random times of the day. <laughs> um, so that's all I have as far as like my on the go makeup and medical type supplies. Pretty much pared it down to the bare minimum. And then in the back pocket of this little one, I've just got uh, some coloured pens for my planner and a pencil, pacer pencil. So that's pretty much all I have in that little pouch. That's my lunchbox pouch, which is currently empty. And then all that's left in there is my glasses case. I do like to keep a can of deodorant and then my planner so yeah that's pretty much it for my winter bag setup i know a few people have been requesting it so i hope um i hope that's given you some ideas of what i've got in my winter bag and yeah i think i'm gonna really like this sort of method of 
organizing my stuff and having it all color coordinated and it just sort of you know gives you something different for each of the seasons so this is my winter bag setup and like I said here in Australia it's winter at the moment and probably we've only got about two weeks left of winter before spring starts so yeah in a couple of weeks I'll be showing you my spring setup but until then Here's my winter bag set up, purple and all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of different content um, on my channel, so I'm sure there'll be something that you will enjoy on there somewhere. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.